Hey, what's up everybody? Time for another psychology, social study kind of video. And if you like the videos, like, sub, silly, comment, share, support the channel if you want. I appreciate it. Thanks. So I made a video about this before, but you know, what's old is new again, right? And the basic idea of this is too long, don't watch, I guess, before I ramble is I think it's interesting how crazy the video game community is and the irony of it when you think that it's a video game community, right? And when you think about video games, you would normally think that it's uh, predominantly male, right? And there's that idea that, you know, you could say males are, let's say, more logical, usually more factual. And you could make the stereotype argument that women are more emotional, <laughs> less logical, potentially irrational, right? And you also have on top of that, if you were to think about something like, uh, you know, just being a nerd in general, right? You would think that being a nerd makes you kind of more scientific, let's say, right? More based on facts, right? And yet the video game community we have seen time and time again is absolutely fucking insane, right? Absolutely just crazy, crazy people. And it goes into what I've talked about before. And I think that it's probably because video games, right, is a passion. And when you are passionate about something, when you potentially love something or someone or a video game in this case, you become blinded. Love makes us blind to the truth. Love makes us retarded, right? And I think that's maybe that's why people are so crazy, because certainly, like I said, if you think about a predominantly generally male hobby, right? Not the video, not that girls can't play video games or anything like that. But, you know, generally speaking, you would think probably more guys are playing video games, especially a fighting game. You know, you think about, oh, it's nerdy. You should care more about the facts, right? More scientific and yet completely illogical, right? And I made, and of course this goes into, you know, just more examples of how I, I constantly have seen this throughout my life. And sometimes I even think that, and I've said this before in videos, and even now again, I'm debating about finally doing, you know, TRT, you know, because of health stuff. But I've often thought that maybe one of the reasons is that I am so logical to this day, so even keel, so to speak, whatever that phrase is, so, you know, non-emotional in before some hater says, Clayton, you, you say that, but you said you wouldn't care if, you know, the people that lie about you die. Well, I said it again, I don't care. I don't, if you're someone that is crazy, goes around lying about me, I know I don't care if you die. I don't care whatever happens to you, fuck you, okay? <laughs> right, so there you go. I can say that while having a giggle about it, how crazy motherfuckers are, right? But, you know. Sometimes I think that I wonder if one of the reasons I've remained so logical and even keel, whatever that phrase is, you know, sort of generally non-emotional, right? Although certainly as I've gotten older, I think I am, I, I tend to be a little bit more irritable as I've gotten older throughout the years, I think, right? But, um, you know, sometimes I wonder if maybe it's actually a hormonal problem that I don't get more emotional about things, right? But you could also say maybe perhaps that although I enjoy video games, I've never felt the sort of love or passion for them. Maybe to the, the certain extent that other people have. You know, certainly I enjoy them and it's a part of my life, you know, to different varying degrees, you know, different video game series. But I guess I've never had that sort of uh, extreme irrational love, so to speak, perhaps. But yeah, I've wondered maybe if maybe the reason I've stayed the way I have because of my hormone profile, perhaps. But, you know, and I gave that um, examples last video, right? And, you know, just talking about what we're talking about now, you can see how crazy the video game community is and the lies that they've made about me, right? But I told the example of, uh, one of the examples I gave last video was, um, there's that uh, guy I used to know, you know, drug addict, you know, Blah, 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 blah. And, you know, eventually he was talking about having, how he was going to have me killed and all this kind of stuff. And, you know, people knew he was a fuck up, right? So to speak, right? 
I guess legitimately, right? I mean, he's he's had a lot of people keep him out of jail, right? But um, you know, whatever the case, he had, he had lived with me for a while, and you know, just crazy, crazy dude, right? But he, uh, while talking about having me killed and all this kind of stuff, there was this one beta guy I've talked about, right? And if I'm calling him a beta, he he, he must be very beta, like he, he's super beta, beta, right? And this dude basically took his side, so to speak, I guess, when we were talking about how crazy this motherfucker is, dude, right? And he was like, you know, the, the long story short of it, and you can watch the whole the, the video, and I've talked about it in stream before, is he just wanted to play games with the guy. He loved playing video games with this guy so much. It didn't matter that he was a drug addict, you know, that he had done all these terrible things, blah, blah, blah. He wanted to play video games with him so bad that he just kept it out of his mind. But then as we got to the end of the story, basically, right? Eventually he had to kick the guy out of the house because um, the guy was threatening to kill him and his girlfriend. And then he's like, oh, okay, I guess we can't play video games anymore. And uh, I think the story was, it was something like he, he had told me about it that he had basically had confronted the guy and that he let him know that the entire time that they were living with him, he was recording him just in case he did get too crazy and tried to kill him and his girlfriend. And then eventually it got too dangerous and he's like, hey, I've been recording you. You got to leave the house or I'm going to go to the police about how crazy you are and you're going to kill us. <laughs> right? Think about how fucking crazy that is, right? He wanted to play video games with this motherfucker so bad, right? But that's video games, right? That, that shows the insanity uh, of the fucking video game community. And of course, the guy never apologized to me, even after taking his side. But you know that he fucking knew. You knew that he fucking knew if he was recording this motherfucker, dude. That's crazy. And, you know, to add to some of these stories, right? I had that situation. Um, it was about a year and... Uh, I don't know. Did I tell this story last time I did this video? I don't remember. I honestly, maybe I made the video a couple years ago. I don't remember. I'm sorry. But I had that situation about not quite a year and a half ago. And it was also with nerdy people that I knew in real life, right? And I had known these guys since before I was even on, you know, disability, right? As a kid, right? I remember meeting these guys when I first went to my very first tournament when I was a little kid. Well, I guess not a little kid. I was I a was young teenager, I guess you would say. And I remember, you know, playing against all these grown ass dudes. Dude was considered, dudes were considered the second best, or one of the guys that was there was considered the second best in the Midwest of America at the time. He had people, you know, placing in all these tournaments around America at the time. And I beat everybody besides the guy that was, you know, considered the second best in the Midwest of America at the time at Street Fighter, right? As a kid, not a kid, well, young teenager. Right? Whatever the case, the point is, these guys knew me for, for a long time, right? This isn't this guy specifically, but just the tournament I was at. But these other group of people that had, had seen that happen and I've known throughout, you know, a lot of my life had invited me to their wedding, all this kind of stuff, have seen me get sick, have seen my hair all coming out after radiation, you know, dudes that have helped me when I couldn't walk, all this kind of stuff. At the time, a couple of the guys in the group, you know, they were talking a lot of shit, right? Like too much shit that it was getting weird, right? And I was like, okay, you guys are just, they were really, really like hammering me, like joking around too much. Or I thought they were joking around at first. I'm like, okay, these guys are, you're going overboard to the point that I, I had just blocked them. And then they started messaging me in group chats and all this kind of stuff. And I was like, even after I blocked, I guess they can still, you know, message me in group chats and they were going on and on. And eventually, as the story goes, one of the guys, you know, he had been, he, he had made so many weird decisions in his life. And I had even told him that I thought some of them were bad. Like, <clears throat> sorry, getting like a little bit of allergies, it seems. Um, one of the guys I can tell you, he, he made like, he tried to be a comedian before. I never went to any of his comedian shows, but other people in the group told me that he was, he fall, he fell flat on his ass or face or whatever the fuck the phrase is. You know, nobody laughed at his jokes. He did terrible. And he also had this dream that, oh man, and even I told him when he was telling me, I asked him multiple times, one of his dreams was he was going to, he told me like, you know, they have party buses or something like that, like party buses for birthday parties or some shit. So he had told me, 
he was going to make a bus, but for kids to play video games in it. And he was going to take his bus and he was going to drive kids around while they play video games in his bus. And I was like, what? And I'm like, dude, that sounds kind of weird. And, and he's like, no, no, no. People will do it. You know, birthday parties, you know, though, it'll be like a, a service and they will rent out my bus with video games, you know, play video games on it. And I'm like, dude, I don't know. That sounds kind of weird, right? Well, point is that also that did not go very well for him, right? I was like, weird shit, but whatever, dude, right? And another guy, and you know, we're, we're, we'll get to whatever. Eventually, uh, or another guy who was really digging at me and just talking a lot of shit for who knows what. Um, one of, another guy in the group. You know, he had told me before, oh, hey, have you seen so-and-so's kid? You know, because he had a kid or recently, so to speak. And he had made some, and he didn't say it like in a shitty way, but he, he had said something like, you know, oh, man, have you seen so-and-so's kid? And I was like, no, what do you mean? And he's like, oh, I don't know. I just, I'm glad my kid didn't turn out like that. I think his kid might be retarded or something, right? And so I was like, oh, I, I don't know. But anyway, so I, I had this in the back of my mind, though, so to speak. And so eventually, you know, while these guys were talking shit, I had told them and I was like, yo, dude, first of all, so and so, it's not my fault that your kid is fucking retarded. Calm yourself down. Right. Because they were talking weird shit. Right. And I was like, listen, you've been you've been at this for months now. I don't know what the fuck your problem is with me constantly talking shit to me like you've taken it too far. It's not my fault that your kid is retarded. Calm the fuck down. And I told the other guy, listen, it's not my fault that your life, that you fucking, you didn't get to be a comedian. It's not my fault that you try to make some school bus with fucking kids to play video games. Check yourself. And oh boy, they exploded. Then other people in chat, oh, I can't believe you would say that, blah, blah, blah. And you know, they were talking weird shit too. Like they were like joking about you know me like dying in a hospital. And they started, you know, oh, it's not real because your doctors got you sick. So that doesn't count kind of weird shit. Like, and I said before, I'm like, first of all, you could say to a reasonable degree, actually, I, I agree. Part of the reason my health has been so bad is my doctors did fuck me up. And I've had permanent side effects from that, right? You know, that does fucking suck, right? It's not fun. It's not like, it's not like a good time, right? But that doesn't change the fact that I'm sick, right? You guys have seen me sick, you know? All the time about, oh, well, we've always hated you. Why the fuck did you invite me to your wedding, motherfucker? Anyway, this, this was going bond back and forth, blah, 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 blah. And it was a big could-do. And eventually, they were just like, and this is why I talk about this video, that video games and, like, love makes you crazy, whatever. Eventually, they're like, you know what? Maybe we are old. But at least we were, we did something with our lives other than we were good at video games and girls like us. And I was like, what the fuck? And, and so the point of that, I, I tell that story again, right? Is because you see that, and I've said this before, and a lot of people, they don't want to believe it. And it's been, you know, God, I can't even tell you the last time I played video games with somebody. It's been a long time, right? I go long periods of time without playing video games, right? And you see these dudes and, I, and i've said before sometimes i could go see a friend i wouldn't even play video games it just doesn't interest me right and you could see these guys it's kind of like whoa what is the use of clayton what so so to speak right and it sounds kind of bad but they're like we don't play video games with clayton anymore and oh clayton is popular with girls and well we're old and we're married now whatever the fuck it is right and our lives are over we've made all these bad decisions let's blame clayton and you know i could go on and on about all the crazy shit they were saying because like i said at first i thought they were fucking joking they were being so weird right but um you know that that just goes to show you video games a lot of fucking people are crazy about video games and it just goes to show there must be some sort of weird animosity that you are bringing up video games, right? It's very strange, like, oh God, I, I lost out on my life. I didn't get to be as good at video games as I wanted to be, and now maybe my kid is retarded or whatever it was, or, oh, my dream was to have a, 
Oh, to be a comedian and to have a bus where kids play video games in it. Which I still... I don't even fucking get that shit, dude. Is that a real thing? Do people really do that? I, I don't fucking know, right? But other weird things, you know, and again, just to talk, you think about how crazy the video game community is, right? Love makes you illogical, whatever, for this hobby. You know, it, it's funny, video games are a hobby that only a very select few of people can actually make money out of, right? But how crazy and passionate people are about it that, look at that one story. Those fucking, how, how many, one story, <laughs> one story, hundreds of stories, all right? But, um... You got that one guy. Oh my god! I found out that guy. Motherfuckers had split personalities. That motherfucker, dude. He helped get me banned by making up this convoluted lie that I supposedly hate gay people and try to get gay people to kill themselves, even though you can see that they all fucking planned it in a Discord. It was recorded, right? Well, we can't. Uh, we like video games. No, we can't have someone do more than us. That motherfucker talking about oh my health problems are fake it's not real blah 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 dude made up that he had a fake heart problem and he was going to die if people said my name because it was that stressful which why the fuck anyone would believe that who knows well of course it turns out his whole fake dying of a heart problem that's not fucking real and it turns out he's just had a split personality where he's a, a girl now and of course i i think and i've actually i've tried looking it up and as far as I can see, while he was a guy, the, you know, this, this the split personality may as well have been his girlfriend because I can't find any evidence that this girlfriend of his is real or was ever real. But of course, this guy is still a Vegito mod at the Discord, even though he got caught pretending to die, right? I mean, that's crazy. Oh, of course, he's also in a group of people that helped steal money from the community. But oh no. We hate Clayton, right? I just think about how crazy this shit is, right? That, you know, a love for something, a passion can make you crazy. Yeah, we told that James Chen story. Motherfucker talking about, oh, oh yeah, I've seen your videos. I know people have lied about you and you're one of the most important people ever in video games and I'm going to spread your story. Very next day, or maybe it was that, that night. I don't fucking remember, whatever it was. I don't think it was 24 hours later. Dude goes on stream people lying about me he's totally fine with it and he refused to say my name and then he threw a bitch fit he's like well you know just talking about he can't say my name on stream why are you that obsessed with video games that i did more than you oh but of course he acts he had but on the down low he asked me for help maximilian someone should someone should seriously go how much money did that motherfucker make off of those videos that i taught him how to do but he couldn't say my name I'm too evil, apparently. Even though no one can actually show any evil thing I've done. I still see people try to make up weird shit that I, that's not even remotely true. Like these guys are just habitual liars. It's like their job, right? Because they become crazy about this passion, right? That only a very select few of people can actually make money off of, right? And of course, some, some, some do, like Maximilian. Of course, how much money do you make off of that? Fucking that Majin Obama, that mother... I can't believe that idiot. That whole shit still doesn't make sense to me. Why the fuck did you invite me on your stream to do this interview for Japan? I told you it's not about the money for me. I didn't make any money off it. He tried to act like I made it. Where? And she, he made the money off it. Which is crazy. And somehow he still has been able to manipulate his chat, even though I showed our own conversation, into that I'm the bad guy. Like People just want to believe stuff that isn't even true. Right. And again, I think it's interesting because it goes to show you would think that a nerd who is more scientific, who is more factual, right, who should not be as emotional, especially when you think about it's a predominantly male oriented hobby, right? But look how crazy they are about fucking video games. It doesn't even matter what's true. There's people that still support Buttmonger. Even after he's bragged about lying about me, and he's admitted it. I mean, these people, they're, they're absolutely fucking evil people. But even the people that have not done the evil deeds, so to speak, that support them, let's say, perhaps, you know, not everybody stole money from the community. 
I don't think. Right? But even these people that just support them, there must be some sort of illogical, irrational, mental gymnastics going on. Right? And again, the irony is which, what is kind of interesting to me again, because predominantly male, predominantly people that you would think would be more factual or scientific since they are a nerd, right? And yet they are completely irrational and fucking insane, right? I lost my train of thought. I had, I had a funny quote. I had a funny quote about... Uh, people that lie recently and I was gonna I was gonna end the video on it and now after rambling for 20 minutes I can't think of what it was I, I read some funny quote it was what was this quote it was something like it's, it's like it's, it was something like this person lies so much that you could say something good about them and then they would lie about it to god oh fuck I should have wrote down the quote it was it made me laugh reading the quote I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look it up and it's gonna be in the next video, maybe. Anyway. Fuck. I should have wrote it down. It made me laugh too. Oh well. Anyway. Remember if you like the videos, like, sub, silly, comment, share, support the channel if you want. I appreciate it. Thanks. The end.